Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of... Man, I really need a crowd on the background. DK Rager. Today, we're doing the BMPT-72. Better known as the Terminator 2. I decided to do this after doing the T-14 Armada. Because, well, the Armada was great. Everyone loved it. Um, everyone still loves it, per se. Uh, but going into sort of its details, it kind of fits, if you think about it. I mean, go, go to the history real quick. The BMPT-72, also known as the Terminator 2, is a Russian armored fighting vehicle. I mean... What's the T-14 Armada? Well, obviously, if we look at the details right here and look at the history, it's obviously a Russian main battle tank. So, sort of keeping into how everything's going and with the announcement of... Oh, and I am so happy to announce this myself. The uh, T-15 Armada it will be the Tier 2. 10 after the Terminator 2. Huge news. They've revealed something else for the Chinese dealer today, but... Eh, and we're not doing a Chinese tank, so no reason to care. Who, who cares about Chinese tanks, anyways? Shut up, I love my WZ1224. Anyways, Terminator 2's damage is 60, with a penetration of 201 millimeters. Hold on, I, I know what you're thinking. Calm down. That's... You see 60 damage and you're automatically going to assume that's all it does? No. DPM. Damage per minute. 8,571. With a 9 second reload. Um, rate of fire. 300 rounds a minute. That's right. That is an auto cannon. Um, does have hit points of 2,265 with a max speed of 61.2 kilometers an hour, 0 to 32 of 4.7 seconds. Camouflage 0 0.275 all the way around. View range, that is with Sabrina Washington, is 465 meters. Uh, targeting can depression of negative 10 degrees and negative 8 degrees. Accuracy spread is 0.10 degrees. Yeah, there's, there's better. I mean, mind you, I don't have any retrofits on it or anything real special. But uh, aim time is 1.9 seconds, which is very good, to be honest. And turret traverse is 46.11 degrees a second. If you can obviously notice, I have my med kit, spare parts, auto fire extinguisher, and my field rebuild kit. I will never, ever use another repair kit because there's no reason to. This repairs my entire tank and gives all my ammo back. <laughs> also, as you can tell, I have 520 APDS rounds. I mean, yeah, I have 80 HEI, but I might even lower that and add some more AP, because I do seem to always tend to run out. I don't understand why, but I also have 20 uh, tandem heat ATGM rounds, so it's not too shabby. If you look at the uh, upgrades, as you'll tell, everything requires a crap load of XP. That's why this thing is still only at 15%. But, yes, and my crew is level 3 at 15%. It's a bit ridiculous, because by the time I get to 50%, my crew will probably be already level 5. Maybe, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Nonetheless, um, we probably won't get a PvP match. Not, not this time, but... Shouldn't be too hard getting ourselves a PvE mission. Um, of course, as you 
already know there's the uh, the whole thing about the daily challenges which I introduced um, turns out there is a specific way to get rid of one uh, say if you've already used one of course it will disappear or um, say you don't have an SPG which is an artillery piece and you want something that may suit your needs to to what you have well you can delete one and maybe you'll get a chance to have another good one uh, let's see operation ricochet uh, let's see we have a leopard 2a6 two t90s and a store bot sent 120 hmm Sent 120's got a nice gun, 120 millimeter cannon, but again, it's a store bought Centauro, so. Nothing offend. It's nothing against those people that buy a store bought Centauro or store bought Challenger. It's just, if you're gonna use it, use it in PvP, please. God, there's no reason for you to be here. Now, as you can tell, I have already spotted that M1A2 Abrams. The reason is, I got the view range. I pretty much will spot everything in this match. Yeah, come on up. <laughs> come on. Come on over. No, you're supposed to die. Why won't you die? Come on, reload so I can... Really? I hate you, you ass. You you freak of nature. Who gives you the right to steal my kill? Um, ha! Freak. You didn't steal that one, did you? Alright, come on. Come on. No, no, die. There we go. Really? Really? It's fine. That's fine. Be that way. I'll just get really. You're gonna steal that one from me too. Nope. I think not. Good. Go ahead and reload. Yes, I only use three rounds, but you know smarter if you go ahead and reload get that 40 rounds in there now one thing you'll notice about the fact that even though this is an auto cannon and usually when you think auto cannons you think and ah, they've got no armor you'll easily get destroyed why are you going in there and battling like some kind of freak of nature well I mean it's obviously called the Terminator. Uh, has anyone seen Arnold Schwarzenegger play the Terminator? Hello. He didn't just sit back and do nothing. He kicked ass. Of course there's an artillery on you. There's already in this match, dummy. Dormars. And you're dead. Not worried about the artillery. It hasn't really bothered me. The only thing that's really damaged me is the leopard. Alright. Right, come on. Turn, turn. There you go. See, now you're speaking my language. No, don't turn. Mm-hmm. Alright. Uh, come on. Load it up. Missiles away! Ah, that's a weird spot for artillery. Fucking weirdo. Jeez. Alright. Let's see, how far away from everyone? Pretty much the only thing that's sort of near us is the T one of the T90s with 95. Oh man, there he, he surpassed us. 
Well, we can't allow that. We've got plenty of time, dude. Shut up. Okay. You obviously don't want to play this game if you're complaining about time. Oh man, we don't have enough time, man. We're gonna lose. Whatever will we do? Mm. Let me guess, we're all horrible players too, right? R right? Am I, am I right? Come on. Alright, Artie. Now, now you're being a bit of a bitch. <sighs> Alright, that's fine. That's, that's fine. Everything is looking up DK. As it usually does. Okay. And goodbye. Alright. Let's go kill this damn Artie. Oh, really? Uh, oh, really? Well, we can't let you leave. No, where, where are you going? Really? Coward. Ooh! Hello! PL01. Okay, hold on. Gotta calculate this. Actually. Otherwise, you're gonna be a bit of a bitch. And you're dead now. Alright. No, don't steal my kill. Come on. Goodbye. Alright, I need you to get on cap. Get 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 on cap. You're almost there. Helicopters are on route to support you. Alright. Okay. There you are. You're not gonna get away from me. Oh, stop turning. As you'll tell about this tank though, it, it has a lot of armor. And that's because, if I remember correctly, it has a T-80 hull. So it can take a beating. Ooh. Well, damn. Yeah, I wasn't gonna make it anyways, but I was hoping for a little more damage. <sighs> Enjoy your payday. That's the problem with this map, is that there's not enough time. In all honesty, they really need to give this map some more time and some more damage. I mean, yeah, it's a fairly short match, a short map, but the problem is, is that, again, if you're not keeping an eye on that time at all times, what's the point? You're gonna lose. If you wouldn't have mentioned that time, you probably wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> and we probably would have lost. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, Obsidian, if you ever watch this, please give more time to this map and give more damage because there's not enough. There's really not. It's... It really needs to be reworked. I mean, look... One of the T90s got 5,405 damage. This one got the Sun 120 at 6,331. I mean, this is a map that that should easily get us all above 10,000 damage. So all those people that didn't get kind of screwed over for damage and reputation. I mean, yeah, I got 15 spots, 11 kills, 16,265 damage. But that's also because I'm in a Terminator 2 that can 
output that much damage in a matter of seconds. I mean, look how much spotting damage I got. 4,040! <laughs> look at my mitigated damage. 7,261. <laughs> that's more... That's more than my own frickin' life of 2,265. I mean... There's, there needs to be more damage in Obsidian Entertainment, MyCom. Please, I beg of you, add more damage. Give this map more time. But as you can tell, I got the blue star for earning the highest reputation. Shooter, 80% of 20 or more shots with a to total of 2,000 potential damage. And teamwork because none of us died. Hmm. But if you can also tell here, and looking at that at the same time, 5,465 XP is what I did gain. 146,509? Nah. -uh. There are your detail screen. Scroll down. Logistics total deduction. Means I only earned 104,509. And why is that? Go to PVE. We'll go to hard. Logistics cost, 42000 Just to do a PVE, you need 42,000 credits. What? <laughs> Just to do the mission? Okay, so, wait, what if I had zero credits right now? What then? It's little things like that that do bug me about this game. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have... I have been through this entire frickin' game. Pretty much have all the tanks sold, some of them, trying to rebuy some of them, so I'll have them all. But, in all honesty, what am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> I mean, I, the credit earning pool, it needs to be increased a little more as well, because PvP is the only way you're going to make a lot of money. Um, I mean, yeah, I made 104,000 credits, but in the PvP, if I would have done very well, I would have made double that. And I know they've tried to rework it as much as possible. And, hey, I'm all for it. I, I really am. And I love the fact that they've given these whole daily challenges thing a try. 150,000 credits per challenge. And these little intel boosts that give credit gains, rep reputation gains, and all this other good stuff. But, in all honesty, it's not enough. I mean... <laughs> Let's go down here, okay? Before we cut this. Go scroll. There. Let's look at the tier 10s. You need 22,950,000 credits to get one, one tier 10. Scroll of my tier, my tier 10, T14 Armada. I have Augmented Breach Lock Mark III on there. Which I may change, because they've already changed uh, something that they didn't say they were going to. And I'm sorry, Obsidian, if you do watch this later, because, yes, this is DK Rager, and I will rage about certain things, but you, you really should have told us that you are changing reload time to being rate of fire. Because it really doesn't help certain tanks that all of us have had these things on like my WZ1224 uh, I had to remove it in place chrome barrel lining mark 3 which increased my damage and my accuracy yeah but now my reload went up from 6 seconds and fi 55 uh, 6.55 seconds to 7.03 seconds. Doesn't seem like too much, but it, it is when you're duking it out with 
14 other tank or 15 other tanks and you're say you're alone <laughs> this this little things like that and it bugs me it, it really does but enough about that there is something that I will say real quick before we cut it what's on the my next agenda well obviously we haven't done a tank destroyer in a while so I give you the M1128 MGS mobile gun system striker now yes you see that right it is at zero percent I haven't done a battle in it and you're gonna think oh, but TK what is wrong with you you're gonna do this without any uh, any weaponry, uh, any better ammunition, or the cage and applique, or anything else? Yes. Yes, I am. And there's a reason for it. I want to show you all how, and, and I'm going to do another video on this once I get the cage and applique and all this other good stuff. But I want to show you how this tank is bear and how this tank is stock and then later how incredible this machine is but that's two separate videos two different times at a later time and you'll have to wait to see that next time on my D DK Rager God, annoyances everywhere. Sorry, Obsidian. I truly am. Love you guys, but fixy stuff. Thank you. Peace out, Ragers.